Hello all, Scotty here, and welcome to Let's Play Jamestown Legend of the Lost Colony. Uh, this is the game I actually picked up as part of the bundle a while ago, so I thought I might as well give it a try, just to give you guys an idea of the gameplay. Now, as usual, I am jumping in completely blind, I have no idea how to play, so there's a chance that I'm going to do absolutely terrible. This is just an intro sequence you get before you even booted the game up, really. Uh, so, it just gives you a bit of a context to what the game is about and um, what kind of info. And I haven't played it at all yet, I only know that the intro sequence is after this, and then I kind of rebooted it thinking, you guys would want to see this. The Romans called it Mars. Is it full of bars? Maybe. Okay, so I only did the tutorial, just to not die so easily. So let's just jump straight into here, and go on to normal difficulty, because I don't want to die quite yet. Right, so let's have a look. Left button to fire, right button special, M button vault. I have no idea what the hell vault means. Pick ship. Let's go for this. Now this is the first time I've booted in. There's a chance that I'm just going to do terrible, as usual. I must admit, nothing could have prepared my old eyes for what lies before them. The new world is truly a wonder to behold. Sadly, I have little time to enjoy the view, uh, though to elude my captors at the town London long enough to make passage to the James Corner, I would very much that they have given up the chase. Okay, I am terrible at reading out loud, so I'm just going to go ahead and skip this, and hello, you have one eye and quite a bit of armour. It is 1600, so it was sort of a transitional phase uh, between uh, sort of the medieval kind of look and more modern weapons and stuff. Okay, war upon the eastern front. Oh, right, okay. Hello, do I kill you? No, I don't. Oh god, okay, I'm defending the redcoats, it appears. Against aliens? What the hell? Okay, then. Is it some kind of alternate, alternate history? Or maybe alternate future? Maybe. There's a chance. So I can keep killing you. Now I had no idea what to expect when I booted this game up. Uh, so there was a strong chance I could have just died horribly, but I'm doing okay so far. You know when you say you're doing okay so far and then you just die? That's what just happened. Special, 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 special. You can go away into hell. Defend the redcoats. The redcoats must not die. At least not yet. They just keep moving. Oh dear god, why? Boom. There we go. Defending the redcoats as much as I can against the evil alien scum. There we go! Explode like you never exploded before! Thank you! You will be squashed from the deep by boot heel. Oh dear god, how did I not die then? Magic! Pure ma Why did I go into the bullets? I meant to avoid the bullets. Okay, so I pressed vault and it did nothing. I guess it gave me like a five second shield or something. I do like games like this, it's like, like a scrolling bullet hell. But rather than going sideways, uh, you are going um, front ways, which in a way can be slightly easier. Oh dear god, hello! Can you die? Oh god, avoid the bullets! Do I have unlimited of this goddamn laser thing? I guess so. But I cannot, I can't fire both at once. I, I have to choose between the two. If you could die, please. Oh dear God, why? Why, 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 why? Must avoid the bullets. That's not fair. How am I supposed to avoid that? Hint, you don't. I know that again. Thank you very much.
Okay, the boss is nearly dead. I'm nearly dead. This will be close. And die, you bugger. Okay. He exploded. Victory. Okay. I did okay. I took five hits. I shall be known as the Lone Wolf. Why? Okay. Let's skip the story. And jump straight into this. The darkness. On normal difficulty. Because I don't want to die yet. Uh, but judging by how I've been playing this. Oh, I didn't go to the shop. Can I go back? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I want to see if I can buy anything from the shop. If I go through here. Shoppy! Yes, I want to buy a ship gunner. And... No, I don't want gauntlet mode because there's a chance that I'm just going to die horribly. I don't want the treason DLC. Go away. Okay. Normal. So I just bought another ship, I think. Did I? Yes, I did. Change di direction and the gunner. Right, okay. So let's just see how it goes, I guess. The dark sector. Full of death and destruction. Oh god, okay. So I can change what... I died. I can change what direction I shoot at. Fair enough. Righty then, so I've got a... Uh, bullets going some ways and bullets going the other ways. I know that, because this is too hard to control. I might just die just for the sake of getting back to the older ship, because this is terrible. Because I'm moving at the same time that I'm doing this. Okay, I can't do this. Um, change ship. I can't, it's, yeah. Let's go for the beam ship, because that was just mental. I could not control that ship. I could not control its firepower. So I was going to die horribly. It could move quick, but I couldn't really do much. This is better. It's a bit sluggish at moving, but it doesn't really matter. And I died. So its hitbox is right in the middle. So I just need to avoid letting them hit the hitbox. But to the best of my abilities. And he just came from nowhere and killed me. Okay, I'm dying horribly now. I have two credits, at least. Can you go away? You really need to die. You really do. Thank you. Death and Destruction is my middle name. So I, I think I've got a limit to this, which is nice. Oh god, it's raining! It's pouring! And the old man is snoring! But could he get up in the morning? Nobody knows. Can I stop firing now? No? Oh god, why? You can go away. You can go away. You can pedal off. Thank you. There we go. Oh, no, no. Again. I didn't even see the bullet coming towards me, to be honest. Press vault. I don't want to vault yet. Boom, boom, boom. Die, die, die. Did I just upgrade my special attack? I think I did. There we go. Save myself a little bit there. Okay, so we're advancing forward. Did I just nearly die? I think I did. 
I died. <laughs> I've noticed the levels are quite short. Ish, maybe. I don't know if it's just me running it wrong. Oh dear god. Doesn't really matter if the level is short if you're dying horribly. Can can you not can you not fire me? Thank you. Thank you once again for dying. Oh dear god, there was no way I could avoid that. I got one credit remaining. Save myself there by not dying. Oh god, what? Lady of the Lake. Oh, what? Okay, you can die. You can die in a hole. You can die! I would really appreciate if you just died. Oh god, why? No, no, no. Ooh, I'm doing some damage. Can you just like go away, please? Gonna get you, gonna get you. There we go, you died. And that was rather loud. I think that kind of maybe drowned me out slightly. Whew, all right then. The solo practitioner. So I think this game uh, allows up to four players if you so want to. November 6, 1619. High noon, a girl emerged from the swamp like an apparition, but she said her name. I knew it was real as you or I. Virginia Jair, first child of the colonies. Okay. So just keep moving on. Oh god, okay. Badlands. Am I gonna die some more here? Most likely. I didn't but I keep forgetting to go to the shop. I need to go to the shop or the shoppy as it's called here. The shoppy Gauntlet mode. Play all levels in the game in one go. I may want to have that for later. No, okay. I don't want like just yet. Because I'd probably end up with a brain hemorrhage if I went all the way through it in one go. Just like, oh dear god, why? <coughs> Prisoner of the Badlands. Right then. What now? Oh god, okay. Explosions! Alright, okay, so this is a bad land, it's a enemy territory. In which nobody is safe from my evilness. Or maybe even goodness, I don't even know anymore. Can you stop following me? And I died. Oh dear god! Once again! All of the stars. Oh Christ, okay, can you die? Boom, 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 and I died myself. Alright, so he's scrolling around. Uh, I don't want to die, please. I really don't want to die. Bored. I've got those UFOs chasing me, but nothing I can do about them. Or very little. There we go. Got behind them. Kill them. Kill them dead. 
press vault. Yes, I will press vault. Thank you. Okay, we're still going. We're not dead yet. I think I just lost a life. I didn't even know that. All of the explosions. Bullet hell games really put the hell into it. Bloody hell. Are they firing at each other? Ow. I can't change my direction of fire with this thing. Sadly. Oh god. Bearded Century of Dread. Oh, I thought that said Bearded Century, it's Dread Century. Okay. Take out that, take out that. Try not to die. Please. And I died. God damn it. Okay, how does he keep moving? Try not to die horribly. Right, there we go. Ah, no, that again. God damn it. And he's dead as a dodo, please. Please, can he die? Please, can he go away? What the hell? Sort of bullets coming from everywhere. There we go. Oh, God. Tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. No, no, no. And he's gone. Bloody hell, that was close. Alright, okay, I did okay there. I only used one credit. Completion 100%. Okay. Now what? Now what? Oh, okay, so we just saved some guy. By the of things. I think it's the last level coming up now, so this could be interesting. Oh, Really? Okay. If that's the case, I'm going to uh, stop recording for now. Uh, I'll probably run through these levels and then try and unlock that level. That says, to unlock level 4, you must beat levels 1 to 3 on difficult or above. In which I'm probably going to do terrible, so if you guys want to see more of this, let me know. And I'll gladly jump in it again. But that's all for me for now. See ya.